So in this video, I'll be talking about how to manage being a student and doing OnlyFans. So as you probably might not know, I am a mechanical engineering student at an Ivy League university. Obviously, I'm not going to say which one, um, but that also does come with a lot of work. I also have an OnlyFans, which gives me around $60,000 per month. Around $60,000 per month. It's really unfair. It's really unfair. If this Kareem Gobbler thinks she's gonna land that big engineering job after doing OnlyFans, I hate to be the burden of bad news, but she probably has a better chance seeing a Bigfoot riding a unicorn. We got a number one victory royale, yeah, Fortnite. We because she is about to get a harsh reality check because her boss is one click away from the truth. You're fired. You two do make a charming couple, though. You're both, what's the expression? Damaged goods. If you don't have the capital investment, or in other words, you're broke, then you need to get creative. Then you need to get creative. Meow. So today, guys, I woke up and realized that I'm a cat. At first, I thought I was dreaming, but it turned out to be real when I saw a zucchini and totally freaked out. What the fuck? <laughs> Meow. Stop it. Get some help. Gentlemen of the congregation, I've encountered a lot of weird shit at the Cheek Slang headquarters. Like simps asking to suck a fart out of a girl's shithole. Okay, let me ask you this. Let me ask you, I don't mean to cut you off. But what's the craziest thing that a guy has asked you on OnlyFans? Had guys right. ask me to like poop on them. <laughs> I had guys ask me, yes, dude. I had guys ask me to make videos of me like farting. Nasty bitch. But this, fuck me. This makes the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. The point is, do whatever makes you happy and just fuck people. This gives me the, the hippie jibbies because when you guys think of a hijab woman, mm, about you think bust. of a righteous woman, wholesome, who carries herself with elegance, with class. And the last thing that comes to my mind is seeing a hijabi woman spreading her butt cheeks on OnlyFans for the whole world to see. I do porn. So we need to dive deep and dissect this. We need to conduct a CSI, a cheek slang investigation. Now we need to collect intel, gather background information before we expose this cream gobbler. Now, why do Muslim women wear a hijab? It's the little scarf that wraps around her head. Now, if you guys can look at the blue highlight, it states, according to some, the veil has been used as a way of curbing male sexual desire, yet covering the head and body, predated Islam. Now the next page states, certainly the head scarf is tied to religion. Many women who cover talk about it as a way demonstrating their submission to God. And a constant reminder to hold fast to Islamic beliefs, such as being honest and generous to those in need. But this girl is the exact opposite, fellas. One plus one is not potatoes. This girl went from full on hijabi, I'm a virgin, I got cobwebs underneath my kutu because I never used it, to a fucking full on slut maximus supreme homo. The deception! 
The betrayal, man. You deceived me. Come. Check this out. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mariam Hadid, and I am an engineering student at a top Ivy League university in the U.S. Something that you might or might not know about me is that I do porn. I do porn. Emotional damage. This girl just went from full on hijab, then all of a sudden ripped her clothes off and transformed into a cream oh, yeah. goblin exodius. Look how she's wearing her jacket. She's trying to zip her jacket down. She's trying to show us her left titty and her right titty. But bitch, what titty? This girl is so flat that in physical education class, the high school teens use her chest as a fucking yoga mat. This girl is so flat. When I stepped in a pile of dog shit, I wiped my feet on what I thought was a rug. And she said, get your crappy shoes off me. No more hijabi nudes for you. Child, please. Child, please is a nice way of telling someone, you know, fuck you. Because in the name of the cheek slang constitution, it states, woman, they're kind of like rocks. We leave the big ones and we skip the flat ones. Perfect, 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 perfect. And I actually started to help my family that lost their money due to the economic crisis in Lebanon. My plan in the future is to, of course, continue helping my family, but also build my own engineering firm. Just a fun fact, um, engineers only make around $60,000 to $100,000 per year. And I make around this much in just one month. The point is, do whatever makes you happy and just fuck people. Now, if we analyze this with our thought gun, oh, Nothing but a motherfucking skank. She is trying to sell her purity to reel in her audience. Gentlemen, we are dealing with the cream of the crop of cream gobblers, a narcissist, a Jezebel. Because if you think of a narcissist, they are master manipulators, great actors. And if you think of a Jezebel spirits, she will use her lust to extract as much things from simps and send that simp into the shadow realms. What is your body count? May we have the Commander-in-Chief of the United States President to reveal her number and the truth to us. Somewhere between 700 billion and a trillion 300 million. Thank you for your cooperation, Mr. President. I knew she was a little crotch goblin all along, but she was trying to sell us that purity. Oh, I was trying to make money for my family. To help my family that lost their money due to the economic crisis. Shut up, bitch. We don't have a pot to piss in or a window to tow it out of. And she was trying to say, I am a mechanical engineering student. That is a bunch of bullocks. I can almost guarantee you. She's not majoring in engineering. She's probably at home sucking a dick while we speak. Yes, um, father, what was that verse about temptation that you gave earlier at the service? And she's trying to say, oh, I'm an engineering student. I'm, I have a 4.0 GPA. I am a valedictorian. More like a dick sucking barbarian. Oh, I'm about to bust. What the fuck? And after she gets done slurping and charming a whole bunch of cobras, she puts back on her hijab. She's like, let me wrap this little scarf around my neck because it's it deletes my wholeness. No, your whole your wholeness can get deleted. Your wholeness can get deleted. If you analyze this with your cheek slang shutting gun, <laughs> it is all a scam. She is not Islam. She is just using it as a marketing scheme to scam these simps who got some weird ass fetishes. Fellas, this girl looks like the type of girl to pick her asshole and sniff it right afterwards. This girl looks like the girl that will pee with her pants all the way down at the urinal. This girl looks like the type of girl that will 
put her whole mouth on a water fountain <gasps> because she thought it was a dick. Fellas, every time she talks. This is the story of why I love Islam, part one. <laughs> the fuck is that? <sighs> Do you guys smell that? It smells like those white jizz trees in the springtime. My brother from Zimbabwe, can you tell why her breath smells like that? Inside your mouth, speak! You suck too much dick! How, how many dick did how many dick did you suck last night? Oh how, how, bitch! How many how Thank you, brother Emmanuel from Zimbabwe? Your insights is very much appreciated. And shout out to all my brothers from Africa. Now it gets more interesting. Take a look at this plot twist. I was born and raised to a Muslim family in New York City, so that's why I don't have an Arabic accent. I did not realize it back then, but I was extremely religious. My partner is Arab, and we are both highly educated in physics, engineering, and Islamic studies. That just makes no fucking sense. I mean, it's just bullshit. Fuck. She said she left to Islam. Okay. Then what in the two rats Fucking in a ranch Dorito bag is she still wearing that hijab? Take it off. This is like a porn star saying, oh, wow. I was just in my thoughty face. Bitch, what are you talking about? You never left it. She's doing it. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my god, wow, <laughs> fucking problem. Wow. I was already doing orgies in high school. Like my Home Depot, we would have like Home Depot repair people come and I would just like suck them off. It's like suck them off. Hold on a second, what did you just say? What did you just say just then? Home Depot repair people. Here's the thing. I have no problem whatsoever with Maram spreading her butt cheeks on OnlyFans for the whole world to see. But damn it, just don't bring Islam into it. The reason why she does it because she's using it to get attention and she is using it as a prop to finesse all these simps with some weird fetishes. Look at this simp in the comment section. First, let's ask this simp, how many OnlyFans is he subscribed to? Oh my God. Um, all of them. There are literally thousands of files here. Well, I've been meaning to clear some of that out. Jesus Christ. Look at the organization here. Clockwise rim job, counterclockwise rim job. Yeah, well, sometimes you like seeing the tongue go the other way. You sick bastard. Look at this. Chicks with dicks. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I have a disease, all right? I need help. There are no chicks with dicks, Johnny. Only guys with tits. Gordon Ramsay, what do we have to say about this simp? Just take one good look at yourselves in the mirror. Because it's a fucking disgrace. The reason why so many women act like they do today is because of these simps. Instead of punishing them for their bad behavior, these simps reward them. If I became the dictator of the United States America, these kinds of people would be the first to be eliminated. My first love my heart for the first time and I was like Look at all these simps in our comment section. These simps be like, oh my God, let me just pay for this girl's OnlyFans. Maybe I'll get some cool and brownie points with her. Let me just be nice. Let me just agree with her. You go girl. If I'm nice to her, maybe she'll play with my pee pee. Maybe she'll even give it a couple. It sucks. Gentlemen, this has to be the most limp dick way. Most better cuck way to try to get at a girl. You might as well just walk up to her and tell her, me and you, we have something in common. We both have a vagina. Jesus Christ. I'm, I just want to rip these guys' dicks off and just jam it into their ass and turn them to a human popsicle. Because the cheek slang historian once said that simps and beta cuck limp dick manginas will be the downfall of Western civilization. You're a simp! Don't be a simp, basically is what she's saying in shorter term. And the next thing, this girl has the audacity to say, oh my God, OnlyFans is so hard. Um, so I guess the main thing would be about time management and uh, because OnlyFans actually does take a lot of time and it is very time consuming. Seriously, 
A nutless monkey could do your job. Um, so, as you probably might not know, I am a mechanical engineering student at an Ivy League university. Ah, horse shit! Obviously, I'm not going to say which one, um, but that also does come with a lot of work. So, putting OnlyFans on top of that just does become a big hassle. Uh, so, the main thing is that you should set a schedule for yourself. So, I set a schedule for myself like every time I go to class, um, that's just like focusing on my classwork and stuff like that. And then when I come back home, I open OnlyFans and I talk with people and answer messages and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I guess just the main thing is about time management and setting your priorities. And once you have that, you can pretty much do anything you want. So hopefully that helps. And look at what she does. Meow. So today guys, I woke up and I realized that I'm a cat. I'm hungry. Let me go ask this human to give me some food. Meow, 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 meow. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Can you guys just imagine as a parent seeing your daughter post booty hole naked pictures on OnlyFans? Just imagine. <laughs> How it must make you feel as a parent that you failed 18 years of parenting <laughs> has gone to waste because in the name of a cheap slang Shakespearean, if she has an OnlyFans, send her back to the streets of oblivion because she slept with every single civilian, a dick sucking Olympian. Perfect, perfect, God, perfect, perfect. Gentlemen, these are the types of women that are making thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars every single month. It just shows you how privileged some women are just because they are pretty. And plus they have a facial, probably some smellier than others. While us men, we have to grind our asses off like a plow horse. Fair. It's really unfair. It's my team. And the same women that are doing OnlyFans. These are the types of women that will turn right back around and say, Oh my gosh, women are not objects. <laughs> I'm about to bust. Women are not objects. It's a fucking mannequin. Yo, 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 yo. But yet, they sell booty hole pictures online and they say, Oh my god. You can't afford me. Emotional damage. And these OnlyFans girls are the same girls that will say, oh my God, I know my self-worth and my value. I should be treated like a queen. Yes, you're a queen. <laughs> <laughs> and yet she sells booty hole naked pictures of her online for $4.99. That is equivalent to a small Sprite and a McChicken at McDonald's. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. <laughs> yo, yo. And when OnlyFans get canceled, sweetheart, just know that beauty fades, but dumb is forever. What you mean to tell me is that my looks are not going to last me very long. Unfortunately, yes. Eventually, your boobs and your bosoms will eventually sag down to the floor. And when these OnlyFan content creators hit the wall, I am Sweetheart, just know that there is a KFC and a Popeyes that's hiring right down the street from my house. Well, if going out on a date with a guy makes me a slut, then that's just what I'm going to be. I don't think going out on a date makes you a slut, but having sex with different men makes you, makes you a slut. Well, what does it make you if you have sex with different women? A slut maker. A slut Perfect. maker. A slut maker. A slut maker. Perfect. 
A slut maker. You, if you have sex with different women. A slut maker. He is the one.